Hi guys, today I want to share with you the decorations that I put together for my daughter's 17th birthday. She wanted to do a silver and gold metallic theme and I quickly realized that I could get a lot of this stuff at Dollar Tree and I was really happy with that because I still had to get quite a bit of stuff from Party City and that was expensive so I couldn't imagine if I had to get all the stuff I got at Dollar Tree at Party City it would have been even double the price. So it was really nice to know that I could go to Dollar Tree and find a lot of this stuff there so this video isn't the best quality because I had so much going on that I just filmed what I could but I have a lot of DIYs in here and lots like I said lots of stuff from Dollar Tree so let's just dive in and I'll show you how I done, did everything so the very first thing was putting together this backdrop it was kind of the focal point of her whole party because I knew that the girls like would want to take pictures you know with a cute backdrop and I obviously wanted to do it at the cheapest price possible. So I, I quickly realized that I could actually take painters like drop cloth, which is this plastic that you see here, and that I could spray paint it a gold metallic. Um, so I'll show you. So I actually used two layers of the drop cloth, one to actually protect like the garage and the furniture, and then the second drop cloth to actually use as my actual backdrop. So if you're wondering why I'm layering them on top of each other, which you'll see here, it's because I need one, again, to protect the furniture and the garage floor, and the other one for the actual backdrop. So you saw the metallic spray paint that I got at Walmart. Uh, it does say that it bonds to plastic. The biggest mistake that I made when I began to spray paint on top of the plastic was that I was too far away from the plastic. So you'll see me like spraying here, but really you should just be as close up as you possibly can to the plastic about at least three to six inches no further because then you're just gonna waste a lot of spray paint. You probably could do this with two cans because the drop cloth is very large. Um, I actually ended up having to buy three cans because I basically wasted the first can because I was spraying so far away. But yeah, so I just spray painted it. It took about a day and a half to complete just because like, I personally had a lot going on, but it turned out really, really beautiful. And I think the total cost was 10 bucks. $3 per can of spray paint and then the dollar drop cloth. And as you saw, I used like painter's tape to just kind of hold everything up. And ignore the bald spot on the back of my head. Okay, listen, I don't know. I didn't have it together that day. So here's a makeover I did of actual Dollar Tree products. So this glass jar that I'm using here is from Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it has like a white uh, bottom solid color. And I thought it would be really fun if I just Mod Podged over it and added the silver and gold glitter. And so that's basically it. I just took some Mod Podge and then the sponge brush, and then I sprinkled the glitter color of choice. I could have done the whole glass in Mod Podge. I didn't have to just color the white part but I really liked the fact that it was just white on the bottom and um, and that you could kind of see you know the majority of the glass I didn't want it all completely covered in glitter because glitter can just be everywhere but don't forget to do a coat of hairspray afterwards when it dries and then that way the glitter won't budge I was at Dollar Tree the other day and I did still see these glasses there. There Now they had some that are like a darker gray and the actual glass top color is a darker gray too. They're really, really pretty. Um, but I just absolutely love how this one turned out.
So you gals know me, I have extra <laughs> glass candlestick holders always lying around for a DIY somewhere, and of course this is from Dollar Tree, and I thought it would be really cute if I just Mod Podged this entire a candlestick holder in a gold glitter and then add a little like plate to the top which is also from Dollar Tree and you'll see the plate later after I add the glitter here but I thought it'd be really cute to use it as a display in her like little like popcorn bar candy bar um, and you'll see in the pictures it had like starburst on top but eventually I took that off and I put her little cupcakes in it that had like her like birthday number 17 on it so it was just such a cute display and again love the fact that I did all that from Dollar Tree This is the plate from Dollar Tree and I'm just using my E6000 glue. Now if you're doing a lot of crafts or DIYs and you, especially if you follow some of my crafts, E6000 is really great to have on hand. It's really not that expensive. You can find it at the craft store at Walmart. Um, but glue, st glue stick will work here too, but if you want it to last in the long haul, you'll want to use E6000. And then as you can see here, here is my display. Now this part is kind of, I don't know, I thought you guys might like it, but again, I'm sorry about the quality of the video. I, I was having to do this, you know, on the fly, so I didn't really have the chance to like set up lighting, but I wanted to show you guys that I also use Dollar Tree stuff to wrap her presents. Now I didn't do all of this to do a Dollar Tree video, it's just I love Dollar Tree and I found all of my gold and silver stuff there, so I thought it would just be perfect to show you guys how cute I think things can turn out from the Dollar Tree. So all of this like wrapping paper and the bags and even those little gold boxes are all from Dollar Tree and um, I just wish that they had more like metallic colors to choose from. It would be really fun to see like greens and blues and purples. So hopefully they'll step up their game and give us more metallic stuff. But yeah, I mean silver and gold is like really trendy so I was just really surprised I could just find all this stuff there. And I'm basically just like wrapping her gifts and that's pretty much it. Oh, I also have to tell you guys that I thought the quality of the silver wrapping paper was perfection. It was really thick, it was really durable, it didn't overly crease and that was the one thing I was worried that once I was like trying to manipulate it, it was gonna like crease and look very wrinkly, but it really held up well as I was trying to wrap the present. I also wrapped a present in gold and you'll see a photo of the present later, but because I also hauled gold wrapping paper and it was off a little bit from the silver. I felt like the silver was thicker than the gold, but it was also late at night. And so I thought to myself, maybe I don't know what I'm comparing this to, but uh, the silver definitely impressed me for sure. So did the gold. I just thought the silver was really thick quality and I did not expect that. I really expected it to be really flimsy and cheap quality and it just wasn't, it was fantastic. So now at this point, I'm doing the rest of the decoration. So we also had a silver backdrop, which you will see later on at the end of this video, but the silver backdrop didn't really have anything from Dollar Tree. It was all from Party City. Um, but basically, I'm just kind of going through all of my stuff that I got between Dollar Tree and Party City to start, like I said, put up my decorations. Those gold stars are part of the gold backdrop, which I got in the Christmas section at Dollar Tree. And then Dollar Tree had, which blew me away, they had these pom-poms with silver metallic tips and then gold metallic tips, which you'll see me do here. But the pom-poms turned out really cute. I think I bought three or four of each color. I'm not sure, but you'll see me put them together here. I have to tell you that the pom-poms take a while to fluff out. So get some resources, get get some friends, help them fluff, fluff pom-poms out, especially if you're using a lot, because let me tell you, you can get really tired really quick. But look at these like metallic tips. I just was blown away. 
Now the silver is looking a little gold, but that's because the gold backdrop was behind it. And so it was coming off gold, but one is silver, one is gold. And I'm showing you here real time how slow it actually is to prep this stuff. So here are the snacks. I am making basically like this, these like chocolate covered pretzel sticks, but I'm gonna do uh, white chocolate with uh, silver and gold sprinkles. Here's my white chocolate. And I'll probably end up doing like a recipe video for that. And I'm gonna do a recipe video for this too. It'll all be in one. Um, and then these are just the toppings that's gonna go with the popcorn. So I'm gonna pop a lot of popcorn and then People can add, it's gonna be like a popcorn bar. They can add like the candy to their popcorn. And then I got these foil cupcake holders from the Dollar Tree because I'm gonna probably change out what nothing, nothing Bundt Cakes has or I'll just like slip the cupcake into this one. And then these are the cute, like look how cute these toppers are. I got these on Amazon and then I got these stars cause these are gonna go on her cake and then these are gonna go like on the cupcakes. So that's what I need to do now, is I need to go get the cupcakes, and my dog is outside. We have some football going on. Bye. Are you going to be a good girl? <laughs> Bye. So that was just a part that I filmed kind of vlog style and thought I would include this in this video. So I know it's kind of, maybe this video is coming off a little random, but I'm just sharing with you guys like how I put everything together. But now I'm actually gonna do the snack part and I only did two different things. So I ended up making these pretzel sticks, which I've always wanted to do because haven't we all kind of seen this treat floating around and all the different ways and toppings you can add. So I went with white chocolate because I wanted to keep the colors like consistent with what I was doing so I did white chocolate plus I already had it on hand and I just took out this parchment paper as a place to put it down and then I nuked the white chocolate in the microwave for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds and then that warms it up enough to where it's nice and melted down so I'm actually prepping two things at once I'm doing Oreos and then I'm doing these pretzel sticks and the pretzel sticks were so easy like I said you put the white your chocolate of choice in the microwave and a safe microwavable like container and then I just dipped the stick into that and then while it was still had the chocolate still hot I did my sprinkle of choice which you'll see is silver and gold and then I ended up taking the Oreos and I found this color mist or this color spray at Party City and I got silver and gold and turned the Oreos into silver and gold. Now I will say when I first saw it, I didn't pick it up because I thought that I could find it at Walmart for cheaper. And when I went to Walmart, they didn't have it. So I had to go back to Party City and pick up the color mist, which were about three bucks a can. And I have to say it was probably the most wasteful of all the money I spent because I don't think any of the kids actually ate the Oreos. So it's kind of like now I'm stuck with these spray cans of stuff but anyway that's basically all of the treats and i'm showing you guys what the end result kind of looked like i know i wasn't able to share every single thing with you guys because i wasn't able to film everything because i was having to put it all together so quickly and but that's it that's how our party turned out and everyone loved it they all had a fantastic time of course i didn't get much sleep that night but you know you know how parties go don't we ladies 
So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Excuse the editing and the lighting, and but I really wanted to share this with you guys. Thank you so much for all of your kind words and wishing my baby girl a happy birthday from Instagram. And you guys are amazing. I adore you all to pieces. Thank you so much for being part of my life. And I will see you guys really soon in another video. Bye.